Now here in this part, I use one of my favorite effects. You guys hear that like I'm cutting up the ah, uh, it's like a transform effect. I do it with this plugin. This is a, an effect that comes with Studio One. It's called Xtrem. And basically what I'm doing is, you know, chopping up when she says la la. It automatically does it based on whatever these beats are. So if you see here, I'm just turning on and off this effect. So it's off there. So same thing. So here I'm actually transitioning down. Up here you, you can see this is the tempo track, so it's going from 128, it's going to end up at 100. So estoy haciendo la bajada de tempo. On the acapella here, I also have the same effect. Let me shut it off for a second. So if you shut it off, He says, he, he extends, uh, and I just chop it up. <laughs> Their favorite part of the mix. <laughs> You probably didn't notice, but now the mix went from 100 to 97. It's kind of slowly, gradually going downbeat as you know all these songs. Are Drums, the drums from Bailando, the a cappella from Nicky Jam, and the melody from the Omar all together in one. Uh, these are all at different BPM, so this is 91, this is 82, and this is, I didn't tag it, it should be. 95 or 90 or 92 it should be so you have different tempos and it's all bringing it together at 95 there's that effect again here he doesn't extend that voice. Let me shut this off for a second. So this is what I did. I cut it up, so lo corté y lo repetí y después le agregué este efecto. So then I added this effect here, but I did one more thing. I moved this around. So it's going to go from 116 to 132 and back to 116. And I just did that with automation. Puedo manipular esto para cambiarle el beat y hacer otro efecto.
this that you see here, it's going to go like this left speaker, right speaker, left, it's going to do the pan. And again, that's just automation. All I'm doing here is taking that intro and chopping it up. Le estoy cortando los golpes and I'm replaying them. Hey. Hey. Tú no sabes como yo pienso en ti. Porque como tú no hay nadie más. Porque como tú no hay nadie más. De que no te acordes. big mix of different things like the Beyonce acapella is at 70 BPM, uh, Yandel is at 91, Mi Vecinita is at 94, and actually this is where I got the idea to do that live mix. The video that I did, I got some of the samples from, from doing this mix. <laughs> The next segment that's coming up was part of my that live video that I did. That's the whole mix. Um, there's a lot of stuff in there. And as you can tell, it does take a lot of time. But I've seen some of the students that have taken the course do some really, really cool things. And I've seen the improvement and the growth even their live DJ set. So music production and, and doing this kind of stuff whether you want to do something this crazy or you just want to do basic editing and, and do mixes, it's definitely going to change your DJ. Like, aprendiendo lo, lo que es la producción musical te va a cambiar el estilo de cómo you know, tú tocas la música en vivo. Porque también te va a dar la habilidad de, de poder crear tu propio contenido. So you're going to be able to produce your own exclusive content and whatever ideas you might have in your head that you, you know, I can go ahead, I mean, anybody could really take somebody else's already edited songs, put them in here, mix them, call it your mix. Yeah, that's cool, but you could do so much more with it when you could create your own edits and then create your own mix, and it's something that's completely yours. It's your work from the way you did the edit to the way you mix them, to, you put them together. I definitely recommend if you're going to start doing mixes, create a podcast. You know, get, get like a nice one hour show going. You can get it on iTunes. You can get, I just got mine on TuneIn Radio. It's free. You just submit your work. And if they like it, not so much that they like it, they just want to see that, that you are consistent with it. So if you put up shows like every week, every two weeks, they'll accept it and, and then people can find you. So it's a way, great way to promote yourself. Now let's say you're done with all this and you want to go over to the project page. So I'm just going to create a new one. So the project page looks like this. It doesn't really look like the song because this is where you already have your work. This is where people come to usually as a producer to master your music. Now. I'm not mastering my music because I'm already working 
with mastered music. And I think that's a big misconception with, with DJs is that when they do an edit, they have to master it. Well, no, you don't because the song is already mastered. That you don't have to master it. So, masterización es algo que muchos DJs piensan que tienen que hacer, pero las canciones que están utilizando ya están masterizadas. So, no hay que masterizar un editaje. So, aquí tú vas a poder grabar tu CD o sacar el producto final y romperlo en canciones para que alguien lo tenga dividido. So you can break up your, your mixes and track them and put them on a CD or uh, do what they call a digital release. So in here I can just right click and import my file from iTunes. So I'm just going to drop a couple of mixes in here. So see, when I'm looking at my library and I, and I look at a mix, I can see here this mix has these songs. Now these are roughly about 12 minute mixes, but I don't want the person to have to sit there. And I mean, I, I want them to sit there and listen to it, but you can break it up. So let's say we want to break up the mix so people on the CD could go track one, track two, track three. It's really easy. Así de fácil es romper un mixeo para que la persona le pueda dar a la próxima canción. Baja al punto donde quieras you just go over to the point that you want. So let's say right there, that's, that's where I want to cut it. I do right click. Split at cursor. That's it. So now that became track two and this became track three. So I can go ahead and add as many as I want here. And it's just going to keep splitting it up. So even if you did a mix live, like let's say you recorded yourself in Serato and you did like a whole hour session. And you just want, now you want to burn it to a CD, but you want to have the tracks. So just bring that whole session, the whole file in here, and you can chop it up whichever way you want, and then burn it onto a CD or do a digital release. Uh, the digital release, what it does is it takes all the songs and it puts them in a folder as MP3, and then you can share that folder with somebody. When they download it, the tracks will be in order and it'll be labeled. And you can also go in here and let's say you want to change the name of just track one because track one is Yo Si Quiera. And then I can even open this up and put all the information and put artwork just for this track. So you could put your picture, whatever, just for that track or on all the tracks. So if you do that, when you export as MP3, the picture will come out in every song. So aquí puedes editar toda la información de cada canción y puedes agregarle la foto y ese tipo de cosas. No, that has, that has nothing to do with it because this is just the information that goes, like if I pass the file to you as an MP3, the information you see or that comes up in iTunes or if you have an MP3 player in your car, that's the information that you're editing here. Um, and again, we got to think the way the software is made for somebody that makes original music and now they want to add here who the composer was, who the songwriter was, what genre it is, the artwork. Uh, we're using it as DJ, so we probably want to put, um, see, when I do my mix CDs, I don't track it by, by song. I track it by genre. So track one is 12 minutes of merengue. Then track two is 12 minutes of salsa, you know, like that. So my, my CD might only have five or six tracks, um, but some people want to do it by every song. If you want to do it like that, it's easy. It's just right click, split at cursor, and once you're done, you, you go right to a CD.
burn to a CD or do a digital release. If you do a digital release, same thing, 320 MP3. And again, you can upload to SoundCloud. Uh, Nimbit, which is their service that they have for people that make original music, you can sell your music on the website. So that's kind of like the easiest way to do it. Obviously, if you had original music and you wanted to master, then the mastering section here, you can add effects, you can master every song. So if you're an artist and you have 12 songs in an album, right, you want to master the songs, but you want them all to sound, to have kind of the similar sound. So you could go in here and master every track and listen to to everyone and compare. You can also adjust here, like if I wanted to kind of come in before a little bit, I can move these things around. And, um, or rearrange them. If I want to rearrange them, I can move them around. So you have a lot of options here. If you do image or DDP, if you're gonna burn like an original CD, you have, uh, you have the files here to do it also. Any questions? Nobody has questions? I'm not that good. Any questions on anything? Um, any other? Uh, Sure.